that makes a big difference. As a wood turner, when I'm dealing with bowls and vessels, this combination right here, Velcro, peel and stick, is the way to really get rid of those sanding marks. And I like to do it with dust collection on, the Cobra. And then I just go in with the lathe off, and I spot sand the areas where I've got sanding lines. This is a Festool heavy duty cordless drill, plenty of power, and that really saves a lot of time versus just sanding it on the wood lathe. And I did put the extension pad on there to get into the contours in that transitional curve, Velcro. I like the small one because it gets into the tight spots. Also, what I'm going to do in just a second is show you how I use the easy chuck to reverse chuck this so I can finish off the cap to my mushroom lid and we're off to the races. I'm using the big easy jaw extensions here to reverse chuck the turned lid that has been hollowed and I'm locking this securely in place rotating around to both keyholes so that all four jaws advance and grip that and this is in compression. It could be an expansion on the inside, but that puts a lot of torque on a delicate edge because that's hollow. So now that's secured, and I'll turn it on, let it come up to speed, and I'm using the detailer with the hickory handle. And what I can do now is I can make this top of the lid any shape that I want by working on the flat of the spigot chuck. Remember, I used these jaws that are spring-loaded to grip onto that to hollow it in show number 22, 2302. And now I can add beautiful accents to make this a nice top accent and finish off the foot the same way of the bowl. So there you have it, some wonderful ideas for turners everywhere. I highly recommend the Big Easy Jaws for the Easy Chuck by Easy Wood Tools. And if you've never turned before, be sure to go to the nearest Woodcraft store and take some lessons. It's so much easier when you have someone who's done it for decades show you the way. Well, there you have it from the wood shop.